Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex and let us see what that terrier is serving up with his history on a platter today. Our topic is a Moss Gray yearbook that can only be the class of 2000. Over the summer of 1999, the Big Red was tented for termites and you can imagine how huge that tent had to be. And when the students returned to school, the teachers had taken over the student parking lot that exists behind the home stands. Here are some pictures from Spirit Week, as well as Homecoming. This is a great picture of the Terrier as he is about to stand Defender of the Red and Black in an entirely new millennium. Here we can see students evacuated to the home stands during a bomb threat. It was a very active hurricane season and here we can see preparations being made as the umbrellas in the H patio are placed into the band shell. In November 1999, the Big Red gained a new principal by the name of Tom Rayo. As the year 2000 approached, there was some fear about the Y2K bug, but enough preparations had been made that there was no major occurrence. We can see that the mural is being painted into Terrier Cafe. Here is your Big Red football team. And this is Ms. Snow teaching them how to sew their jerseys. These are the Big Red cheerleaders. The Latin Club, which is one of the oldest at HHS. And a new club, which was the Rowing or Crew Club. Now, over the decades, tales of supernatural events in the clock tower had grown, and some students decided to investigate. The yearbook has a clock face with this symbol in the center, and if we look closely, we will know that it is the symbol of the Blair Witch. So we know we're in supernatural territory. Actually, these terriers are very accurate with what they see, and they gain access to the stairwell leading to the supposed fourth floor. They talk about how hot it is up there, there's graffiti on the wall, and then they see these windows. For a frame of reference, they are looking at these windows we see from the outside, just under the big clocks. They then describe a small door that's really dark on the other side and there's graffiti all around and as you can see inside of this area there's just a bunch of old junk. So they enter this room and there is more wooden beams with graffiti all around and it's getting really hot. They find an old table and on it are some really old Pepsi Cola cans. So these students leave, but they do feel that they've learned a little bit more about the mystery of the HHS clock tower. Now these students did have a last will and testament section in this yearbook. And before you knew it, it was time to graduate, which these terriers did at the Florida State Fairgrounds. Just for the record, when I return as an HHS ghost, I won't be up in the clock tower. I'll be on a second or third floor where people can see me. Anyhow, till next time, please subscribe to my channel to keep up with more HHS videos. Take care of each other, and as always, Go Big Red.